popping hair on these metahumans. I'll show you how to get the metahumans in and how to fix this. So from the top, I open Quixel Bridge and I go to metahumans and I can select some presets and I start metahuman creator which opens up the metahuman creator website. I launch it. Nom nom. Sometimes you have you have to wait in a queue because this is a pixel streamed website it's processed somewhere else. Now it may ask you to sign in with your Epic Games account which is the same one that you use in Epic Games Launcher. You can create a new one which is what I started from and customize them and once you've customized one it appears in My Meta Humans. Uh, and once you have um, done that, you go back to Bridge. You may need to reopen Bridge, and they'll appear here. And this is on your machine, so at this point it says downloaded, but you'll have to click download and it may take a while, it may even say that it's generating it because in the cloud it's generating all your customization. But once you've downloaded it to your machine, uh, Bridge, you then click Add, and this it will add it to this project in the MetaHumans folder. You can see I've already done those two things. And there's a difference between Coda and Natalie. If I click on her, you can see that this MetaHuman uses grooms only available at 0 and 1, requiring a higher spec machine. That's okay, but that is one of the reasons that it pops, because there's no LED3 yet, and um, he, he doesn't have this limitation. So I'll show you the difference between both of them. So once I've selected Coda and added him in, I select him here, and scroll down to find Coda, drag him into the scene, plonk, and this popping here is because it's swapping between the LODs, so it's not seamless. I'm just going to add a new pose to him, and the way that I do that is by getting some animation sequence, and I grabbed that from a different project which is in the Epic Games Launcher samples, this MetaHuman project here. I uh, downloaded that and created the project. So you can go to the MetaHumans project like this. And when I go to the content browser, these are some animations. So I'll shift select all of those, right click and asset actions, migrate. OK that, and I want to put it into Gallery Studio, so I'll go into there and select the content folder there, select that, I've already done that step, and they come into here. Now to apply it to him, we're going to select him and go to Details panel, and I may have to pull this down here. Now it's not actually in here. It's under body, and inside there, under the animation, is where we select use animation asset. We're not using a blueprint, and in here it's a straight up animation sequence. So idle, he's idling. Animation sequence there, nice power pose. All right, you see that his hair's popping. Um, before I fix it on him, I'm actually going to go and show you back to bridge. We're going to get Natalia in here as well. Once I've selected her, downloaded and add, it will appear in your MetaHumans. In that root folder I'll drag her in. And that's where you see her hair vanish. If I go closer, it appears. So you can see this is what the... and this is out of the bag what it does straight away you've got to have something to fix, so at least his hair's not vanishing, but it still looks bad that it's popping, so we'll start with Natalia with her selected, oh we'll give her a pose what should we do, a, a landing pose go over to select her body 
and use animation assets and say um, land nice <laughs> okay back to body we'll pull this down and go to LOD sync this is all to do with LODs so we want to stop it from switching out the LODs because it doesn't have one to go to in the case of Natalia and there's a couple of ways to do it but um, basically I don't just want to force none of them to so this is one way to fix it right let's move back so it, her hair's not there you can put zero on there so it always uses LOD zero which is the highest quality uh, level of detail but that forces the, the jeans and the hands everything and it's really bad performance so we only want to really attribute that to the hair so on the components to sync meaning all these components have their own levels of detail so we want them to be the same and I want to disable it for her hair so that it doesn't switch out the LODs there. So that's fixed her hair popping. Okay, now let's do Kodo. LOD sync. Same again. Is it number five? Yeah. And disable that. Same again. Oh, there's a slight pop there. No, it's quite happy now. So it's less performant because it's a groom and it's very heavy. So we're just forcing LOD zero the whole time there. 